28% of Philadelphians live in poverty. In an exclusive Access Philly interview, Councilwoman Maria Quinones Sanchez, a board member of the Office of Community Empowerment and Opportunity, said solving this problem will involve housing, mental health treatment, and jobs. But Sanchez said unorthodox ideas should also be considered, such as expunging the records of some of the city's estimated 300,000 ex-offenders. I had a gentleman um, approach me in his mid-50s, um, recently out of jail. He was there with five daughters. And he was speaking to me about the challenges of getting a job. And he said to me, he's like, Miss Maria, I don't want to go back to my old ways, but I need to provide for my five girls. That was real simple. This, you know, here you have someone who's saying, I just want to work. But with an unemployment rate of 10.6% as of December, work is hard to find in Philadelphia, especially for ex-offenders. Sanchez believes the policies of former DA Lynn Abraham are partially to blame. For 20 something years, we had a DA who was very focused in on um, marking what was hundreds of thousands of young men for life. Um, when she overcharged them with felony counts when they could have been simple assaults or other things, non-felony accounts, um, and how now we're working our way out of that. Because Is that why the poverty is going up? I think that um, I think it it has there's a, has to be a direct correlation with, you know, I think the number is like three hundred thousand people with a record in the city of Philadelphia. Mm. They have some sort of record, but it's not the record. It's the type of crime that was that was listed, and that's why some of these initiatives around expungement become important because one person made a policy decision that they were going to overcharge people, and now we have several hundred thousand people marked for life. They committed crimes that, you know, when they were 15, 16, 17 years old, that, that had we had a more progressive approach to that, and mm -hmm. we were really talking about rehabilitation, some of these folks can turn their lives around. I think we need to, in order to dig our way out of that, we really need to look at sponging records and figuring out how we help um, folks in that community so that they have a shot. So some of these felony counts, some of these other things, we really need to look at what gets part and, you know, how do, how do, we, how do we ensure that, that, um, that we're giving them access to some of these jobs. And then we have to hold our private sector to a different standard and say to them, we need you, you know, outside of obviously dangerous uh, folks, we need you to look at this population as one that, that deserves opportunity and it's in the best interest of everyone. Access Philly wants your opinion. Is giving ex-offenders a second chance a necessary tool in fighting poverty? Tweet us at Access Philly or comment at accessphilly.org. For Access Philly, this is Solomon Jones.